Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Side Quest on Playframe and Elden Ring and these caves. We're going to win a boss fight today, eventually. Or maybe even first try, you don't know yet. It could possibly happen. Now I'm going into this basically with the same setup. I am not going to, well, actually no. I am going to summon for the, hang on, do I need to, am I going the right, no, I'm going the wrong way, okay. I was about to say, I didn't remember there being enemies in between here and the boss room. So, I am going to summon in this fight, but not in a way that I think is going to be helpful, in a way that I think is going to be funny. So, I've got the Land Squirt Ashes, and I checked, and it seems like they don't consume FP to use, they consume HP to use, which isn't great, but uh, it also means... I wonder if you could just keep summoning more. Probably not. But uh, I want to bring him in here, because I feel like they deserve a shot. <laughs> you know, just bring him out, let him spray some poison around... They're gonna die way before they actually get to do any of that, but it'll still be funny. Let's, uh, do this at least in the meantime. So at least we're doing something actually useful for preparation. And here we go. Where are you, big guy? There you are. All right, squirts. Today is your day. Let him have it. Go, minions! Where, where are you? Oh, guys, come on, you're not even trying to do the fight. Guys, he's over this way. Guys. Man. All right. Just me then. Fine. Maybe they can't be in water. Guys, you want to participate in the fight? <laughs> hey. Dorks. Some help y'all were. <laughs> oh, they're... They're giving it their best. <laughs> they were starting to do a little damage, too. But okay, no, for real. Okay. Clearly, they're not feeling up to that fight right now. Uh, I'll get... Yeah, Aurelia. Not going to use Aurelia yet. I'm going to try without a few rounds first. Just because I think it'll work. What sort of damage would work best against this sort of enemy? I wonder. Like, I don't know what dragons are weak to. And I definitely don't know what this kind of dragon would be weak to. Eh. Sword seemed... effective enough... to start. But we'll try some fire in there, just in case. Let's go. Fire! That's actually more effective. Yeah, that was a little early. Too early to roll. Woohoo, baby. All right. Ah, there's a follow-up. Didn't see the follow-up coming. My bad. Oh, no. No, oh, no. Still bad. No, thank you. Trying to heal up here. Consider my needs. And then the follow-up... Whoosh. Okay. Getting underneath you and behind you seemed like a good strategy. Oh boy. And then follow up. Boom, there it is. Nope. Go for the feet. Feet and butt. Yeah. No, oh, we lost fire, but that's okay. We're still doing some pretty good damage here. The fire wasn't actually adding that much. Oh boy. Can't believe I actually got in some damage on that. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, that's so awesome though. Help! Oh, a status effect. That's fun. That's a new one. I'm unfamiliar. Jeez. This is so cool. Oh no. Help! Help! You don't want to be here. Let me through. Thank you. Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Eh. No. No. Eh. You're so intimidating. Follow up. 
Yeah. Okay, attacking your stomach doesn't seem to do a whole lot. Legs, though, still okay. Didn't see that coming. My fault. Guess that'll happen when you're standing too close to the boss to actually see what are you doing. You can stop now. Whatever it is you're doing. What are you doing? No. No. Uh, health. Ah, uh, no. Oh, boy. Okay, so there's like little... Frostbite? What? What about this is ice? I guess you're covered in some ice, along with your lightning. Pick a thing. Dragon, lightning, and ice. Just like, come on. Ow. Oh, I'm out of healing. Well, almost. <laughs> come on, dude. <laughs> Uh. That was a good hit. I think I just hit like two things at once. Oh boy, no. Uh. Uh. Ah! <laughs> Come on now, I wasn't ready. You know I wasn't ready. I'm going to die. Not before I get a few hits in though. Eh. Oh boy, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Too early. Ugh. I'm here. Oh boy. <laughs> I recognized what was happening just as I hit the jump button. Almost got him though. Okay. Here it goes. Bring it! Yeah, it's only like 20-something more damage getting the fire added, but still... It's not nothing. Guy thought I was out of range. Disagree. Oh boy. Bad timing. That's okay. We're fine. We're fine. We are okay. Go for the legs. Maybe not then. Okie dokie. Fine start. Yeah, almost got him down to halfway already. And the transformation. Oh, we're gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Yeah. Glad we're not dead. Jeez. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, no. Oh, boy. Alright, they're pretty forgiving with the spaces you can stand in between those. Whoo, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, come on. Unsporting. All right, I figured out a lot of his moves at this point, for the most part. I think if I can get to the second phase, actually getting to the second phase is not a problem. Once I get to the second phase... If I can find an opening, I might try getting fire on the sword again. I wonder if once... He starts getting covered in ice, if fire will actually become more effective. Yep. Wrong button. Look out! Okay. It's a big if as to whether or not I'll actually be able to manage to get... ...fire on the sword. Once he decides to just, um, become every element of dragon at once. Now, getting greedy. Nope. Ah, expected that to come out slower. No, follow up, follow up. Whew. Look out. Then follow up. There we go. And transformation soon. Yep. Let's see what happens. Alright, for some of this, that's fine. 
Oh, just one. How generous. No. Ah, I was just a hair too early there. Okay. Plug out. Whiff. Come on. Come on. The range. Ridiculous. Ah. I keep just missing. No. Too early. Oh, boy. I really thought I was going to get punished for that one. Nah, that's not more damage. I hoped it would be. Maybe if I hit the arms, but... Yeah. Look out. Look out! Ah, nope. Not how to do it. Pay attention. Go places with intent. Next round. I think what I'll do is bring in Aurelia around round two. Too early. Oof. Yeah, boy. Yeah, figuring out where to hide for that one is a little tricky. Yep. Dodged you. Help. Where are you? What are you doing? Ah, jeez. Uh, follow up. Ah! How'd you whiff? It's the size of a house. Here we go. You missed. And this time I didn't for once. It's coming back. Look out. Look out. Finish it. There we go. Frozen Lightning Spear. Awesome. That's one of the coolest bosses yet. What are you? Hmm. You're interesting. And you seem really important, too. One of the old gods, maybe? Yeah, the bosses they've had so far have been amazing. Between Godric and this thing. Already two of the coolest looking Souls fights I've ever seen. Fun fights, too. Great Ghost Glove Wart. Alright, a really, like, exceptionally good upgrading material, I suppose, for uh, Spirit Ashes. So is this a dead end? What are we looking at here? No, no, we can go through. We can go around, maybe, maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Can't go through here, it doesn't seem like. Huh. All right. Gotta be some place we can go through here, like... Like, it could be that this is just waterfalls and then it stops here, but it really feels like... How would you get to the rest of this? Maybe... Okay. Uh... From here. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot more to see here. So, okay, let's... I'll see if there's anything, but if there's not, my next guess is... Backtrack a ways through here... Other side. There's gotta be something. That's my guess. Let's see. Yeah, nothing in here. And dropping down... seems reckless. Yeah, that's a long way. 
It's a very long way. There's a grace fire down there. Just gotta figure out how to get there. Well, uh, no, no. Let's, let's see about the other side. And no. No, we're gonna need to get there by another route. Yeah, at least there's a grace fire here, though. That's considerate of them. There we go. All right. We got strength. Just so we can have a lot of stuff equipped, though, I think pushing endurance would not be a terrible idea. Maybe I should get both vigor and endurance to 25, right? Like, maybe that's not a terrible idea. Like, solid places for both of them to be. Uh... Gives lots of equipping flexibility. And then we can kind of start dumping some points into our uh, faith for a little while. And see what that yields. That's starting to feel like a pretty good idea. Okay. Alright, let's start backtracking a bit here and... Uh, see what our other options are. Can I just, like, warp? Is there a closer place? There is. Let's just warp back here. Skip all the ants and basilisks and whatnot. Who needs it? Not me. So if we run this way, maintain cover... Can I get up there? That might be what I need to figure out. Okay. If I can get up there, then I can get up there, which might be something else. Hmm. Okay, this that might be a viable path across. Let's explore this. Quickly. Quickly. Oh, that's so many. Quick. Ow. We're fine. Okay. Is there a way across? I don't know. Hard to tell. Leave me alone. I'm thinking. Guys, come on. Oh, you guys are a real nuisance. Please knock it off. And stop making me run out of cover to contend with you. Oh boy. Ugh. Maybe I can just drop down and go. Maybe. Maybe that's possible. I don't know if it's possible, but... The climbing up thing doesn't seem to be viable from what I can see. Yeah, I'm not sure how to get up there. Maybe with a jump? Maybe with jumps. Hang on. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. No. No. Uh, oh. Well. Got that anyway. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get up there. Nope. Not from here. Yeah. Crumbs. The only other possibility I can see 
because I didn't see a way to like get up to a higher elevation from the entrance side here, though I will look in passing, is maybe if there's like something I missed here going through water, maybe something about this path will lead me to where I'm trying to get. Because otherwise, I guess I just need to find another elevator down somewhere out here. And, uh, I mean, maybe, but... Or, hmm, could also be there's something out this way. Like another underground area down here that, yeah, that could be something too, actually. That might be. Let's try, uh kind of running back through this way and see if there's a thing here or here. And if not, then okay, we'll, we'll just move on and we're, we're done with this little uh, underground river for a bit. Just in case, though. Did I try going up there? I don't know if I did. Maybe that first. Cover. Eh. Glad that worked. Go. This is nothing. Help. Okay. And I'm not super optimistic about this second possibility either. Yeah. Especially not when I'm getting pelted like that. Mm, no. Run. Take cover. Ah, uh, there's a lot of guys. Okay, uh... Still, seriously. Alright, the river, though. The river over here on this side. Top off quick. Check the river. Go. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. May not be taking me where I'm trying to get, but it's something. Hmm... No ants, please, and no basilisks. Neither thing. I think we did it. I think this is it. Yeah, all right, we're here. Oh, I can see me again. Good, good, good. And it doesn't look like there's a path to climb up there to get at it. No, we're going to have to get at it from behind it. There's an entrance behind it I couldn't see before. And also, it looks like it's... Like there's a... Like a little opening in the ceiling or something that it's connected to. I wonder. Okay. Um, there is a shiny up there, and I do kind of want it, even though it's a real bad idea. Yeah. I want it, though. The problem is I want the thing. Yeah. Hey, nice. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we're gonna die. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. But I did get the thing, though. And I know where to go. Cool. And as long as I'm passing through, I'll take that. And we know where we're headed. Now then, let's see where all we can get from here. Are you serious? I gotta go all the way up there for runes. Eh. If I must. Run! There we go. Okay. Okay. There's shinies, there's enemies. Various things to pay attention to. Kind of thought there'd be a bit more to do up here, though. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I can get at the shiny, but then what? Can drop down. It's not the most enticing option. Yeah. Yeah, maybe this is about all there is to do up here. Hmm. Well, 
Well, at the very least... Eh, there's another shiny. I'll take that. All right. Out of options on this side. Yeah. Oh, it's way too good at tracking your position. And I think we are kind of out of interesting options to do over here from what I can see. So... Yeah, that's the cave we came in from. Some enemies. Pillars. But... Nothing that connects me to where I thought I was going to be headed from here. So let's go this way, which might actually work better than I thought. Go! Oh, ow. I think I'm going to be able to hassle you now. Maybe. Ah, boy, that hurts a lot. Whew. Jeez. What are you? Are you a... Are you a centipede? Not really. No, you've got... I can't even tell what the heck you are. I don't even know if I can hit you. You are some kind of nightmare, though. Look at you. Can I hit you? I can read messages. It's not really helpful right now. Maybe with, like, a jumping attack. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey. You're a pain. And so ugly. And now dead. Whew. What a thing. Glad that thing's not going to be a hassle anymore. Whew. I'd go down to get all the little shinies, but I feel like I worked so hard to get up here. <laughs> hmm. Interesting headstones, I suppose? Feels like there's got to be more up here. Maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe the rest of this river is inaccessible to us for now. All right. Can I drop down without dying? Probably, right? Yeah, here we go. Alright, let's do a little shiny collecting then. Since we're not getting hassled anymore. By whatever the heck that was. And then let's get out of here. And read some of those item descriptions of things we've been picking up. I think I mentioned I wanted to yesterday. And, uh... Well, then a lot of... Big things happened, didn't they? Shield grease? That's a new one. Runes. Magic grease. Throwing daggers. Alright, I'm content. I'm out of here. Let's warp out if they'll let us. Okay, so... Oop. This is all just stuff that's going on underground here, huh? Wow. Neat. But okay, yeah, there's so much above ground we haven't looked at yet. I've scoped out all this nonsense, but uh, now I need to go back up here where all the pyromancers are hanging out. 
Whew. Sky. It's good to see Sky again. All right, let's... Let me go find what those items were that I've been picking up down there, just to see what sort of neat information we can get. Shield grease. Solidified grease made from a mixture of magically resonant materials. Coats left-handed armament, boosting guarding ability and all forms of damage negation. That's cool. Neat. Soap. A plant-based soap made from mushroom juice. Uh, cleans off filth and other accumulations on the body while also slightly reducing poison buildup. Filthy, uh, filth covering the exterior eventually seeps inside, soiling one's very spirit. <laughs> Silly, but I like it. The land squirt ashes. These spirits appear some distance from the summoner. The firm, fleshy tubes of the creatures remain rooted to the spot. Ah, a spraying poisonous liquid over their surroundings. Not super helpful, guys, but <laughs> funny, I suppose. The Aeonian Butterfly, a butterfly with withered scarlet wings found in the swamp of Aeonia. Uh, according to myth, these butterflies were once the wings of the goddess of Rot herself. Oh boy. A formic rock, a uh, rock formed from solidified giant ant venom, highly acidic, uh, found near Ansel River and other places where giant ants live. Yay. A great ghost glovewort. A white flower that blooms in catacombs. A spirit nestles close to this grand specimen. Strengthens renowned ashes to plus ten. Wow. Since times of old, large glove warts were used to comfort heroic spirits, given in tribute to those who died the most glorious of deaths in the hopes their stories would become legend. I guess I didn't read the descriptions on these. The Fire Monk's Prayer Book. A prayer book of the fire monks who came from the mountaintops of the giants far to the north can be given to a learned cleric to gain access to those two incantations, or the Dragon Cult Prayer Book. A prayer book of the capital's ancient dragon cult, a text of the knight's faith that arose after the War of the Ancient Dragons, can be given to a learned cleric to gain access to lightning spear, honed bolt, and electrify armament. Wow. Seems fun. The Magic Downpour. Uh, this is the one we got from that sorcerer in the uh, tower that we had to chase, who was shooting very explosive magic arrows at us. Uh, one of the sorceries of the Carrion royal family summons a mass of magic that fires projectiles over a wide area. The sorcery can be cast while in motion, and charging extends duration. Said to have been taught by the Crystallians to mark the swearing of the Old Concord. Huh. Divine Fortification, which we might have read, I just don't remember. Increases holy damage negation, uh, can be cast while in motion. An incantation of the Two Fingers Faithful. Follow the path that's been set for you, and you will make enemies of all others. The monks, the sorcerers, the ancient dragon knights, and the scions of gold. Heed me, the lands between offers no welcome to the tarnished. Frozen Lightning Spear, which we've just recently earned. Uh, an incantation that channels the power of the dragonkin soldiers. Creates a spear of ice lightning and stabs it into the ground from above. On impact, the spear will burst into trails of lightning advancing forwards. The dragonkin were born in the Eternal City, where they knew no true sky, no, nor true lightning. Instead, ice lightning was their weapon. Quite a bit of faith required for that one, but maybe worth it. Seems fun, and there's a lot of cool faith stuff, like... Uh, the Flame of the Fell God, that big explosive thing uh, that we got from that prisoner. Need 41 for this thing, but, uh... <laughs> this legendary incantation is one of several that draws directly from the power of the fire giants. Uh... I think we read this. Arganthi, the chief guardian of the flame, had kept this incantation a well-kept secret till it was stolen by Adan. The fell god still lurks within the fire giants. Vow of the Indomitable. Uh, this ash of war grants an armament the sacred affinity and the following skill. Uh, skill of the ancient warriors of the Erd Tree. Hold shield aloft to imbue yourself with golden power, granting momentary invincibility. Seems handy. I kind of want to read these two again. So this tree and beast surcoat is worn by soldiers loyal to Godric the Grafted, and it depicts the distant Erd tree and the beast regent, an emblem of the golden lineage. Both are symbols of glory now past. Then the cuckoo surcoat, uh, surcoat worn by a Rhea Luca uh, Lucaria Academy soldiers, uh, depicts twinned cuckoos peering into a flourishing mass of glintstone. To a glintstone sorcerer, the body's a transient thing. The cuckoo alone knows its insignificance, yet watches over it all the same. Really interested in learning more about this academy. And finally, this. Uh, the Immunizing Horn Charm. An accoutrement worn by the ancestral followers raises immunity. Uh, governs resistance to poison and rot. Nice. Said to be a budding horn. The ancestral followers believed that the horns of a long-lived beast continue to bud like antlers over and over again, until the beast one day becomes an ancestral spirit. Awesome. So next time we're having to deal with a lot of poison or rot, we'll have to try that out. 
Really hope I can get some more talisman slots soon. I feel like I'd like that. But okay, I think I think that's enough. I think we're good. Let's mount up again, finally. And uh yeah, start checking out this elevated area a bit. Hmm. Feels way safer out here. It might not be, it just Boy, it feels that way. Oh, what cool places. Am I going the right way? I am. Okay, yeah. Just saw I was headed sort of southward and got confused for a second. <laughs> uh, turtle, of course. Fire slugs over there and probably a pyromancer camp. Okay. Oh, this is how we get across. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. Or it's a, a way we could have gotten across. My way worked fine. I like to think this one's just being like a fire slug shepherd. <laughs> Surprise! I sneaked up on a horse. Guess I should collect a bunch of these, huh? Good materials to have. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Keep up, grass. Oh boy, one of those things on the horizon. That'll be a fun adventure. Let's see... what sort of sneaky nonsense we can do. Oop. Not quite as sneaky as I hoped. That's fine. Gotcha. Now you... Look out. Fire! Fire! Ow! Fire! Stop it. Yikes. Y'all do look interesting, though. Fire Monk Grieve, school. And... Flame Cleanse Me. Seems like sort of a... self-immolation move, if I'm reading that right. One of the incantations of the Fire Monks creates a fire within that burns away toxins. Oh! Alleviates poison and scarlet rot buildup and cures these ailments. This incantation leaves the caster with subtle burns, a reminder that they must fear the flame. <laughs> That's cool, so it does do a little self-damage, seems like, but cures poisons as well. Fire seems fun. Or at least for now it does. We'll see once I contend with this thing. This fire tank or whatever. What are you? Yeah. Oh. You do roll, don't you? Ugh. I don't like you having... Eyes that are tracking me. Blah. Come on, man. You got something going on in your backside here, though, that I... Oh, is this, like, the pilot? Can I hit the pilot and break this whole thing? That'd be awesome if so. If I could figure out... It feels like I should be able to, uh... Specifically target the pilot. If I could sneak up, maybe I could get in a backstab. I wonder. Ooh, Fire Blossom. I feel like that's gotta be possible. They wouldn't have that guy being there, visible and exposed, if you couldn't do something. I look forward to trying that out.
Um, looks like nothing. Okay. Feels nice covering a good bit of ground again. <laughs> Checking some stretches of land off the list. bears. I do. Small bears, though. Manageable bears. Extremely manageable bears. These are honestly no worse than the wolves. They're kind of easier than the wolves. They don't move as much. But the biggest bears remain a problem. They are a headache. Okay, there's our... Yeah, there's the entrance to the well. Feels like they're going to hide something back here, though. It really does. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. This is kind of our path forward, or one of them. All right, let's go far enough forward to get, like, maybe another... Yeah. Okay, let's... Finish doing this little path. See if we can find another uh, grace fire on the other side. And then double back because really want to see what's at the top of this elevated bit of land. Hello. You're new? What are you? Huh. That's a new thing. Old palace ruins. Hmm. All right. Suspiciously quiet back here. And a little hard to see. How do I get up there? Maybe I can't from here. Well, maybe. Hold on. Okay. Big arrows. Big arrows, that hurt. Maybe we'll try looking this way first. Anything interesting? Not seeing a whole lot. Okay. Large bear. Great. Good, good, good. Are you aggressive yet, or are you just... Yeah, you are. Okay. Leaving! Ugh. Come on, man. Ridiculous. No! Go away! How are you so fast? Leave me alone. Come on, man. Darn bear. Surprise. Oh, good. Bear stopped chasing. Bug, could you... Thank you. Hmm... I've gone a lot further north than I really meant to. 
But as long as we're here. Hello? Oh boy. I have stumbled upon a situation. You seem like you're going to be an issue. What is even going on with you? You're like a headless knight, it seems like. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Is that frenzy on your weapon? I dare say so. Don't. Okay. Yeah, all right. Oh, curse. No, it's not frenzy. It's a different, worse thing. Yipes. Maybe I'll contend with you later. <laughs> You're scary. Whew. Yeah, maybe we'll go instead of there, somewhere else. Let's just go up here. Easier from here, apparently. Okay, so if I can manage to do a sneak. And it's a long shot, but come on. This has to work. Uh, yeah. Oh, come on. That's not how it should work at all. Come on. Be dead. There we go. Nope, nope, not dead. Knock it off. Be dead. Thank you. That's better. Now up here... Gonna have to check this tree out later for sure, but up here... Uh... Can I ignore y'all? Eh, just in case. No tooting the horns, please. Okay. Looks like a little cathedral or something. It seems cool. Ooh, and another of these as well. Another little monument with a nice view. Hmm. The Second Lyurnian War. No victory for the Golden, nor for the Moon. No prize but atonement. The birth of a vow. Hmm. So these... mages, or the followers of the Moon, or whatever they are, seemed to... clash with... Whenever they reference the Golden, I'm kind of assuming that's a faction of either gods or demigods. It sure seems like. Well, here's this, if nothing else. I will take it. Hmm. Maybe it's just a statue. We can hope. Hello? Just a statue, yes? Church of Vows. Hmm. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Incredible. We'll see about this in a moment. Um, this is pretty. I like it. A tone. You don't need absolution. Ah, uh, is this our uh, place for getting forgiveness for attacking NPCs? <laughs> With this turtle. I feel like I don't trust this. Let's talk to the turtle first. You're tarnished, aren't you? Oh. I welcome you to the Church of Vows. 
I am Muriel, steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? Please tell me. Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between red-haired Radigan and Renala of the Full Moon. Ah, uh, okay. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses, the Erd Tree of the Capitol and the Academy of Rea Lucaria. Interesting, okay. Oh, was there something you needed? You are free to show yourself around. I would serve as your guide, only my legs aren't what they used to be. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless, perhaps, you are in search of instruction. In which case, I will share all that I know. Please. Oh, goodness. Um... Tell me about Radagon. You wish to know more of Lord Radagon? Yes. Lord Radagon was a great champion, possessed of flowing red locks. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there and became husband to the Carian Queen. However, when Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Erd Tree capital, becoming Queen Marika's second husband and King Consort, mm -hmm. taking the title of Second Elden Lord. The mystery endures to this day as to why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord. Interesting. Go on. You wish to know more of Lady Renala. She is queen, head of the Carian royal family, and governor of the Academy of Rea Lucaria, the great and beautiful full moon witch. Sadly, her heart was broken when Lord Radigan left her, and then, when the Academy rebelled against the royals, she was locked away in the Grand Library. Interesting. I guess we'll get to meet her then. One of these weeks. So, um... You seem way more interesting to give prayer books to. Would you like one? Actually, you probably wouldn't like either of these very much, but... Here. Oh, what have we here? Very well, let us both learn together. Heresy is not native to the world. It is but a contrivance. All things can be conjoined. I like that attitude. Oh, what have we here? Very well, let us both learn together. Heresy is not native to okay. all things. You really go with the flow. I like that in a Pope Turtle. So... These ain't happening, but, um... An old sorcery of the Carian royal family creates a sigil overhead from which an enemy-seeking glint blade appears after a brief delay. Sorcery can be used while in motion. Said to be the prototype of a sword phalanx... of the sword phalanx sorceries wielded by royal enchanted knights. And Carian greatsword. Uh, conjures a magic greatsword and then delivers a sweeping blow. Can be cast repeatedly. Armed with this spell, sorcerers gain the strength of knights, their loyalty sworn to the moon. This is cool. But what of this? Blessings Bon, uh, Boon, uh, one of the ancient Erd Tree incantations, grants a blessing to the caster and nearby allies, gradually restoring HP. Blessings once fell like tears from the Erd Tree, and this incantation's but a lingering remnant of their power. I'm really excited to get into incantations. They're sounding way more interesting than. Like, there's lots of cool damaging options uh, inside sort of the intelligence side of things, and a wide variety of them. But incantations seem to do so many 
like more interesting things rather than just different kinds of damage output. Maybe I just haven't found enough uh, <laughs> enough sorceries yet, but these are cool. Uh, lightning Spear, one of the incantations of the capital's ancient dragon cult. Summons a lightning spear and hurls it before the caster. Causes a lightning bolt to strike the point of impact. Long ago, Godwin the Golden defeated the ancient dragon uh, Fortisax and befriended his fallen foe, an event that gave rise to the ancient dragon cult in the capital. All right. Honed Bolt, one of the incantations of that ancient dragon cult. Summons a bolt of lightning to strike foes from above. Long ago, Godwin the Golden uh, defeated the ancient dragon Fortisax and befriended... Right. Uh, electrify Armament. Enchants an armament held in the right hand with the lightning affinity attacks. O oh, flame. Momentarily sparks roaring flame from the caster's hand. The giant's flame still smolders upon the distant northern mountaintop, and the fire monks are its guardians. And surge, O oh, flame. A superior incantation of the fire monks creates a stream of fire to burn the area before the caster. Can be cast while in motion. Awesome. The giant's flame is the flame of ruin, capable of burning the Erd tree. And so, following the war against the giants, its ruinous blaze was sealed, and the guardians were appointed to watch over it. The lore in this world's already so rad. I'm really enjoying it a lot. Um, and faith is something I'm really excited to get into once I've kind of got my uh, my vitality and endurance sorted. We're getting there. So nice to meet you. Easily the most important character thus far. And, um... Well, that is a surprise. A gold sewing needle? Wow. Wow. And golden tailoring tools. Huh. Bach, you may be all about this. Possibly. Maybe. Uh, sewing, special sewing needle for demigod attire. One of the tools brought by Radagon when he entered un into marriage with Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, and joined the Car uh, Carian line. And tools brought with the red-haired Radagon when he married into the Carrion line. With these, even demigod attire can be altered at Sights of Grace. Which I don't think I have. Still cool. Um, let's see if Bach wants this. I bet Bach wants this. And that will be how we wrap up the day. What an incredible find. It's been a good episode. Um, how far are we from leveling? Still a good ways. Okay. Um, Melina, you should pop up more often. I want your thoughts. But okay. Uh, I hope Bach is still hanging out where we left him. Boy, we've been... We've done some traveling, haven't we? Uh, Bach... Yep. Bach the Seamster. Guess what I found? Bok the Seamster, at your service, Master. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. Well, um, oh. I guess I need more garments that can be adjusted. I don't know. Oh, going so soon? Uh, please do be safe on your journeys. Or maybe we just need to, uh, get further in the game. Something that, uh, I think someone in comments mentioned, and it's it, like, kind of makes sense. Maybe I should make a point of purchasing more things from the NPCs who do sell stuff to me, just in case it, like, uh, is what's required to move their quest lines forward. Like, maybe buying more things from Selen would be smart, even if I don't plan to use them. Food for thought. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow for... I don't know, further north stuff, probably. That would make sense. We'll figure it out. Anyway, take care, all of you, and I will see you then. Goodbye.